Basically, it's very strange to me that knowing a lot about history makes you more intelligent than knowing a lot about television shows or celebrity relationships or bubblegum or anything. It's just sort of odd that there's this weight ascribed to certain areas of information that makes them more important to know about. It's a strange logic to me. Oh, that was an unpleasant noise that my stomach just made. I think it's very important to remember that people have different intelligences. For example, I'm not all that outstanding at calculus. Frankly, not really sure what calculus is. Yeah, I mean, I know it's like an area of math, but further than that, not so much. But I think I'm pretty good at appreciating being alive, and that is a lot more valuable to me. I'm not trying to belittle the skill or commitment of people who have advanced to very complex and beyond layman's understandings of math or science or Marcel Proust's writing. I'm just trying to point out that there is this strange bias present that labels geniuses of people who are very proficient at very conventionally academic things. Oh, my face hurts. Ugh. And people who have mastered conventionally academic things are certainly very intelligent. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. I'm saying that there are people in other areas, people who are very proficient and innovative at, I don't know, dog grooming or ice cream creation or gardening, anything at all, and I think we should call them geniuses too. It seems to me that we shouldn't determine what's important and then decide to pay attention to that. We should notice what we pay attention to and then decide that that's important. I'm just saying we should remember that. That's all.